you know, we had a we had a Fed that's been talking since the very beginning of this, since the very beginning of the year, has been talking about the notion that, hey, look, um, we are going to uh, we have a, a, a two percent target. We are going to allow inflation to run a bit uh, or slightly over that. Uh, and we're going to be uh, watching that carefully. And but until that happens, you know, we'll uh, we'll look at look at it then. Guess what? Four months in a row, Jerome, it's happened. And it's well over. It's not 2%. It's not slightly above 2%. It is well above 2%. Now, I know it's transitory. So you say, I don't believe it is, but I know you believe it is. And I get that. So you're following your beliefs. When does it not become transitory? When is it not temporary? Of course, all inflation, I guess you could say, is temporary. But when is it not temporary? I heard a very, very brilliant analyst this morning, great guy, I like him a lot, saying that we're not going to see the impact of wage inflation for a year and a half. Well, there's somebody living in a uh, lack of reality bubble, a uh, smart guy, but a year and a half, a year even, I don't think so. Um, and and I'll say it to the analyst, I'll say it to everybody, understand uh, fl- uh, uh, wage, wage inflation impacts the bottom line of a company immediately. Now, whether that immediately hits the bottom line of their earnings, possibly not. But I can assure you, I can assure you, maybe, maybe this guy's never been in business. I mean, he was a private sector guy. But I can assure you that as soon as those higher wages begin to hit the bottom line, which is the end of the month preceding wage increases. Soon as that happens, that executive committees immediately begin to say, we got a problem here. This is going to continue. We can either wait or we can begin to pass off some of this cost or not even the cost that we're incurring now, but begin to pass off this anticipated wage inflation now while everybody is expecting it and not a lot of people are paying attention because we're still in the throes kind of of uh, the pandemic taking the wind out of the news uh, uh, on a regular basis and this would be the time to do it. Any rational uh, executive committee in a company is going to think like that meaning it's not going to take a year and a half before it starts impacting the bottom line or the margins of companies. They're going to start thinking about it almost immediately. As soon as they start seeing this is the trend. Now we get reports on a regular basis that the vast majority of the wage inflation is coming by way of poaching. It is not coming by way of people coming back into the workforce and saying, hey, I'm not coming back into the workforce unless I get another three dollars an hour. Is that happened? Sure, it is. Some of that is certainly happening. But the real problem is poaching. And, and, and what I mean by that is companies, competitors going to their competitors, employees and saying, hey, we know that you're making $20 an hour. We're willing to pay you $24 an hour to come over to here. They're not going to people sitting on the couch saying, oh, by the way, we know you're sitting on the couch. We're going to pay you $24. They're not doing that. They're poaching. And they're going to continue to do that. And I know that uh, Jerome Powell doesn't believe this or understand it or really can grasp how it's going to impact bottom lines and margins. But it is happening now and it doesn't go away. It's not temporary. Now, the other counter argument to that is very simple. The argument is, hey, listen, this may not be transitory, may be permanent, but this is the way in which we are going. This is the way we're going. We're going to have probably fewer employees in general because of automation, robotics, AI, and, and other reasons uh, that, that we're, we're going to see that. But for now, we're going to be seeing this, and it will impact our bottom line, and it is going to be the normal way of doing business. This is the way it is going to be for an extended period of time. So 
I think we need to wake up a little bit and understand that a lot of this inflation is going to be I, I, I don't like to use this word because it's such an overly used word, but there's really no alternative. But this is going to be the new normal, the new normal moving forward, maybe from here, that that maybe companies are going to reside themselves to working on smaller margins or maybe they're not. Maybe they're not going to be able to work on smaller margins. Maybe they're going to try to continue to grow. Maybe they are folding and understand that the government's probably going to be controlling everything sooner rather than later, and they're not going to be that concerned about it. I guarantee you that in the next year and a half, and but but I don't mean it's going to be fine until then, but from now and through the next year and a half, we're going to see CapEx spending beginning to diminish. We just are. We just are. And because companies are going to hold back. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.